I'm sitting actually here with Steve Williams from Amzamkulu Lodge. Quite difficult to pronounce, obviously a Zulu name, which means we're obviously in the heartland of Shaka Zulu's area, which is the Drakensberg. But we're in the southern Drakensberg, is that correct? Correct, yeah. Now, you're the owner of Amzamkulu Lodge. River Lodge, yeah, yeah. How did that come about? Sure, my wife and I, um, we've spent uh, most of, well, I've spent a lot of my life coming up here on holiday with my parents and I've, I mean we've loved it I mean we used to play tennis tournaments here and just loved Underberg and, and in itself and uh, so I brought my wife here once just to, to show her what my youth was all about and then yeah one Easter April we uh, decided that the weather was uh, horrible terrible weather and so we uh, we got hold of a kids um, hey they did a whole lot of uh, they showed us a couple of properties and uh, so we thought, yeah, what the hell, eh? Took the plunge. So the bad weather made you go and look at an estate agent who showed you this place, fell into your hands. See, for me, I would have had a lot of red wine, a big fire, and a romantic evening. But that's where I would have missed out. For sure, yeah. <laughs> All our mates thought, thought we were crazy, actually. Okay, so now we came here in the dark. First of all, thank you very much for accommodation. Yeah. They've got a whole lot of chalets named after kingfishers. We're sitting in giant kingfisher which is the treasure really of, of the lodge. This is where we stayed last night. But we didn't see much of it because it was in the dark. We arrived after dark. Now waking up this morning right next to the stream, um, besides the fishing and what obviously is related to water, you've got other activities related to water. Could you just give us a quick brief on that? Yeah, we did the, the tubing, which is brilliant in summer. Yeah. Um, and then just water. Well, I don't know. Yeah, I like the, the stream first. Yeah. Um, not this morning folks we expected snow on the mountains i promised steve that i would go down on a raft in a thong so watch the space for that show not today <laughs> but i promise you you'll see it and then you've also got the famous canoeing um, yeah, yeah. events down here the, the drag challenge ends here and then the kayaking starts here and goes down the famous thrombosis gorge the thrombosis gorge what a name why is it called the thrombosis gorge I think if uh, if you saw it, you would understand it, eh? and uh, yeah. Well, I believe from a little bit of reading, the crazy guys in kayaks, not kayaks in, what, what are they yeah, called? Yeah, yeah, nice kayaks. Yeah. Go down like a 20, 30 meter plunge, which is um, taking taking the plunge, I would call. There's nothing better than taking the plunge. Yeah. Okay, you can play a bit of golf here, but it's not a golf uh, course, it's a golf range. Driving range, yeah. Worked out with theodolites, etc. So you can see exactly if you're driving for me, 150 meters. For the big, uh, big easies like Ernie, three, four hundred meters. Correct. Yeah. So, and then uh, I see there's a lot of little animal farms for the kids. Yeah. A lot of jungle gyms, basketball nets, um, swings. So it's essentially a place for a family. Um, there's obviously the famous Sani Pass very nearby, which is uh, four by four territory. For sure. Um, and you send trips up there, right? Yeah, yeah. We've got um, Murray Sony Pass Tours, who takes all most of our guests up there when they want to go. Okay. Yeah, brilliant guy, and yeah. And then, of course, for the non-smokers, there's the hiking. Yeah, it's, I mean, mountain it's biking. Stunning, yeah. All these little trails. Trail running. A big web of trails. Well, folks, um, and then there's all these little quaint places like Harville. It's got a famous pub. There's the museum, not, it's just far up the road. You've got little jam farm stores. You've got, uh, there's no wine in this area, is there? You've got to bring all that in. Yeah, guys, bring it in. Eh? There yeah. is a wine tasting place up the road here. But. Okay, folks, well, for me, I highly recommend it. Look forward to episode two of Mike in a Thong going down the Umzumkulu Unpronounceable River. But it's right here in the valley at Umzumkulu Lodge. Don't get that wrong. Thank you so much.